So seven years ago, I created this plugin, the Availability Section Completed plugin for Moodle. And it surprised me to see that it was seven years old when I went to use it in um, a project that I'm currently working on. I know I'm not the first person to have made a section completion availability condition. Um, so somebody else's, other people have tried to scratch the same itch. I'm sure that in many cases in Moodle, there's lots of kind of similar plugins doing the same thing because they weren't released um, on the plugins directory. And I'm also a culprit of this. So let's see how it works anyway. So we go to the course that we're interested in, put the course into edit mode and go down to the section that we want to restrict access to based on completion of a previous section. So we're going to restrict access to the day two section topic by going to the edit page and from the restrict access options, we choose to add restriction. And the, the standard ones are activity completion, date, grade, user profile, and restriction set. Now in this case, we're just going to add the section completion. So the student must match the following. They must complete section one in order to um, access section two, which is uh, the section here. So we save changes. Okay, here's section two. And so we have uh, listed here uh, a message saying that this is not available until section one has been completed. And so when each of the activities in section one that has completion set is complete, uh, then section one will be marked as complete and section two will become available. Uh, if I put that into student mode, as in if I change my role to student, what does that look like? Okay, we simply can't see any of the activities within the, the section itself. I think if we use um, a, a format that, uh, there, are, there are some formats that will actually gray out the, uh, the tile or the topic area for us. I think tiles does that. Okay, but that's all and that's how it works. Um, if you're interested in using that, you would go to Justin Hunt and then Moodle availability section completed is the URL here.